So, um, hey. The doctor's eyes, they're shut, and I can't see them. So, I've become a, an emotionless doll now. Interesting. Well, bye! It was nice to know you, doctor! What was that? Oh, he... Okay, thank you. The glass wall is shattered. Thank you, Zack. <laughs> For... Shit, it won't budge! Not even if I beat on it. What the hell am I gonna do? Who the hell are you? What are you doing? Showing up here like you own the damn place, huh? Um... I got a favor to ask. Huh? Please. Kill me. Blug! Don't ask me to do creepy shit like that. I got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you're just gonna spew out creepy shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Zack. <sighs> okay, let's try to look for a key. Wait, let's check the doctor again. He probably has something on him, right? Yes. Acquired a key. Thank you. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Okay, um, Zach, I got the key. Do you want it? Crap! I don't know how to open it. I suck at this big time. You don't want it. Uh, uh, wait, the elevator door is shut. Okay, I guess there's no keyhole for it. So, well, there was a room earlier which I couldn't enter earlier. So, let's try to use the key here. If I use the key that was in the doctor's pocket, just maybe... I can use it. Um, elevator control room key. Oh, okay! Let's go. And then we pull the switch. There we go. Okay. We're all set. Alright, I'm coming back now, Zacky boy. Hey, are you the one who opened this elevator? Yep, that's right. <laughs> so it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? Sure did. I'm such an idiot. So yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then, once you're for licking outside with a goddamn stupid grin, I'll... Kill you. Really? Well, that is, if you behave. Okay. Alright. Now, let's get the hell out of this place. Hey. I got two rules. No f***ing around. And no prancing around all merry-like. I got a big problem with f***ers who look so happy. Whenever I see him, I can't help but kill him. Whatever you say. Well, with that dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't gonna worry. It's chilly here. Sh we're still only on B4? Let's get out of here already. Move it! Something's in the water. Ah, uh, what is it? What the hell is that thing? No clue. You don't know? Then how the hell am I supposed to know? I see. Staring at something all day isn't gonna help you understand it better. Now move it. Uh, calm down, Zack. Okay, let's check out this place.
a grave. Oh, no wonder it smells like blood. Wanna try digging up? Whatever. You're no fun. It's just a grave. Do you want to get it that bad? But this one won't do. It's already occupied. Something shiny can be seen in the grave. Huh? What the heck are you doing? Whatever you're farming around there for, is something down there? I can't reach it. Oh, just do this. Uh, but the body... Its leg fell off. Oh, a key! Um, can I pick this one up? It's a dirt-covered pickaxe. Okay, never mind. Um, what is this place? These are graves, right? It appears to be a gravestone with a name engraved on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, this big thingy here. Graves of the impure. The pitiable unwanted by the master and his angels. A way to be purified, plummeting to the depths, and be buried in the ground. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, is it for this? Morgue key. What do you wave that key around for? Oh, I, I, I guess that implies that the key wasn't for that door. And okay, so there's signs here, so this means that I can use the morgue key or the morgue door. Let's go! Man, it's freezing in here. The air is damp and reeks of chemicals. I don't want to stick around here for long. Got to find a way to get the hell out of here fast. Yeah, yeah, chill now. Cleanse the self. The master expects a pure soul and a body. Oh, okay. It's an empty coffin. A high. <gasps> an icy chill pervades the air. It appears to be a gigantic freezer. The top door has been left open. There's a small piece of scrap paper inside. Watkin Beckett, 36. POD B3, COD blood loss from bullet wound. Mr. Beckett had a B4 key on his person, but it has yet to be found. It appears he lost it. Due to severe injuries, use caution when handling. An arm was lost while being cleaned in a tank. Oh dear. This guy died. Yep, it says B3, so it's safe to assume he died there. We're on B4, which means there's still more floors above. Are you familiar with this place? Well, I guess you could say that. I'm just here because someone told me I could kill whoever I want. The same goes with the guys on the first too, huh? Even I'm not up on the details. I see. Well, fair enough. Oh man, messing with the graves earlier made my hands reek on no gunky. Well, we could try to wash them though. Um, there's water here. Something resembling a human figure rests at the bottom. Wait. The wall is crumbling. This place is damp and turning to shambles. What a dump. Um, this? You can rinse your hands off here. Oh. That's a tad better. Ah. Something shiny is in the water. Oh! Hey, I got another key. It's probably for the other room. What is the other room anyways? Um, what is it? It says Graveyard 1. Oh, okay. Let's try to open. Oh, gosh darn it. It even says on the key what it's for. Graveyard 1 key. Let's go. Okay, another grave. One after another. Why in the hell would you need so many graves in a place like this? Well, we are at the graveyard. Doesn't that make sense for you, Zack? The holy land of the coveted. Those the master coveted, those pure angelic adorers, and those exceptional. Shall lay the self to rest with this magnificent privilege. But heed my words. Wicked souls that betray the master shall be damned here in eternal hell. Interesting. There's a deep hole in the ground. There's an odd looking stone. There's a new gravestone. A name is meticulously engraved on it. Huh? 
was wrong. Something's written on it. A name's written on it. Duh. All gravestones have names on them. What you freaking out over? It says Rachel Gardner. That's my name. My name's written on it. No way! So mine's written on this one. What is it with this fucked up horrible place? Hey. Hey, don't stare at the gravestone. No offense, but I have no intentions of dying with you. Okay, we're getting the hell out of this place, one way or another. Okay, um, there's something here. There's a fairly large crack in the wall. There's a weird hole here. I'm not gonna fit in there. Guess we're out of options. How about I go? Huh? You're just saying that so you can bolt. I want to run. Not until I'm killed. Damn, you've been giving me the creeps for a while. But enough about that. At any rate, we can't just sit here and do nothing. Go take care of it. Oh, if you die, then give me a I'm dead to let me know. I can't if I'm dead. Shut up! In that case, at least be useful before you die. Jeez, calm down, Zack. Okay, let's go. Damn, what is this place? A desire for a gravestone is written on the sheet. Aha. Something is written in a child's handwriting. I first learned of that kid. I've always been curious. But I didn't know her for the longest time. I longed to... Okay, I need some... I need some water. But I didn't see her for the longest time. I longed to see her. But the bastard's always in the way. She has such a beautiful voice. She must be so, so lovely. She must be. I mean, that's why I fell for her overnight. Oh dear. I gotta make something special for her. Gotta think of something special. Only for her. A place of eternal rest. Is this note referring to me? There's a gravestone design schematic, but it appears to be a child's handwriting. There are other schematic-esque documents, but I have no idea what they are for. Huh, wait. It appears to be an order form for shovels, hammers, and pickaxes. Okay, um... There's a new gravestone, another new gravestone... What appears to be numerous shovels and tools are inside. There's a torch inside the box. Oh, um... This still might be of use. Thank you. There's sword clothing and gloves inside. Okay, um, let's try to go here. The door is tightly shut. There's no keyhole. There's a lot of them all jumbled together. But none of them really look like a clue. This is a dead end too. Hmm, what to do? I guess I'll go back for now. Uh, okay, let's go. What's up? This gravestone gets on my nerves. I want to smash it to bits. Your weapon would probably give way first. Shut up! Don't you think I know that? Never mind that. Did you find anything on the other side? The passage leads to a room that winds around to the right. There was a door there, but it was locked, so I couldn't go any further. The door has no keyhole, so I think there must be some kind of mechanism that opens it. You don't say. Well, Keep looking. Okay, but could you look here too? What? Door mechanisms and I don't get along. Yeah. Fine. Now go. Okay. Um. Huh? Got something else to report? Do me a favor. And don't destroy my grave. 
Who gives a flying f A way to open the door. Come to think of it, there was some sort of strange schematic earlier. Hmm, I wonder. Well, this one? What? The schematics underneath here. They're different than the others. I suspect this is a clue for the mechanism. Hmm, the sequence of squares. That punk! Lock mechanism? Where the hell am I supposed to look for that? The only thing around here is graves. But, I guess I can just sit here all day. Fine, I'm game. I'll just have a look around. I take it a morbid sight. But man, this grave is freaking annoying. Nothing would make me happy not to smash it. But, as the little shit said, that will ruin my blade. Maybe while I'm at it, I'll pick up something that could smash it. Well, oh. <gasps> I can control you! Awesome! Anyways, I do recall a pickaxe, which is right here. There's a dirt covered pickaxe. Oh, this will do nicely. Let's try pulverizing the gravestone with this. Let's go. Um, there's an odd looking stone. Destroy gravestone. Oh dear. God damn, it just won't break. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This damn rock. Give me trouble. For a shitty gravestone, you should put up a tough fight. Oh, it just occurred to me. The other gravestones are... Now fair game too. Oh dear, okay. Well, <laughs> they break as easy as Tinker Toys. I'll keep smashing them till I feel better. Okay, um... Zack, this is not necessary at all. Oh well. I guess we'll do this then. <laughs> Who made this grave? Take that! And this? Is this a grave? Oh well, it doesn't matter. How about I smash all of the graves on this world while I'm at it? I mean, graves are just for a bunch of stupid ass corpses. But, I mean, uh, okay, fine, Zack. We'll destroy everything. Almost there. I don't feel good about this, man. Nice! Is this all of them? Huh? What? What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. The mechanism. I was so busy smashing that I wasn't keeping an eye out. Was this something? Maybe we know to take a look. Alright, um, back to what we were actually going to do. <laughs> uh, is there something new? There we go. The gravestone is broken to pieces. Some sort of switch is visible in the debris. Huh? Hmm, this sequence of squares. There are 16 of them, and a calculation for them is written below. Is this referring to graves? What's that awful sound I've been hearing all this time? If this is the graves, then by matching up the calculation with them, just maybe something will happen here. What the heck is that sound? The door in the back's open? Did he open it? Apparently he did. How did he find the unlock mechanism for this? Um, by smashing? <laughs> Graves? It's dark. 
I gotta turn on the light. Well, good thing I got this torch here. Okay, let's...